Hey guys, what's up? So today's video is really kind of difficult because um, people are asking me to pick like 10 or 12 tarantulas that I really like in my collection and the top favorite. So as you know, I have about 64. I really must have miscounted when I, my Phobos Morena side, I probably overcounted once. So um, yeah, so I do have 64. It's a really difficult video because I really like all the 64 of them. They're really nice and uh, cool to look at, so I guess uh, we'll start with the top uh, favorites of mine. Uh, one of them is Theraphosa blondi, Goliath bird eater, uh, because of their sheer size. Get up having a 12 inch leg span. Uh, this is Gretel. This is my 11 inch adult female that uh, molted uh, over a week ago, so I think she'll be ready to feed in the next feeding video. Uh, probably be aired sometime on Wednesday or Thursday. Uh, then the next one here in this side, um, I really like this one here, Gramasola pulchra, Brazilian black. Well, because it's the blackest tarantula in the hobby. And um, some of them are really docile, mine's not. So, not a good idea to handle this one. Well, mine actually. And uh, then I love this one here, Bracky Palma Smithy, the Mexican Redney. Of course, who would not love this one? This is the tarantula that started the hobby. And it's a must in any tarantula collection. I'm going to go by piles and see which ones I like. Okay, in this corner here, um, there's only really two, three that I like. Uh, this one right here. Pocotheria Miranda, Bengal Spotted Ornamental. Very nice to look at. Um, possibly one of the most docile pokies, but I uh, really can't speak to that from experience. Uh, she's pretty slow and uh, not as fast. And again, that's just my specimen, and uh, vigil tarantulas do vary in personality. Um, Tetra's my favorite one because she's the most colorful avic that I have. Uh, this is a 5-inch female of Vicularia Versicolor, the Antilles Pink Toe. As you can see, she's right there. She's like, um, has a plum abdomen, turquoise carapace, and like purplish black legs. Really cool. Uh, and then, my favorite pokey of all is the Pocotheria Safusca Lowland. Yeah, unfortunately there's a legs, but uh, she's really cool. I saw her, she's around uh, three and a half inches, four inches right now. It's just amazing. And I prefer this pile is uh, Vicolaria Vicolaria, pink toe, because she's the most Hannibal one that I have, and uh, she's the sweetest of my tarantulas. Another favorite of mine is uh, good old Curly Sue, Rachypella bopulosum, Honduras Curly here. Even though that she doesn't look um, very appealing to some uh, people, she's the most docile and the most uh, slow tarantula that I have. Very predictable. She hardly kicks hairs. She's just awesome. And she's my oldest one. And this pile, um, there's only one that I really like from here is the Pocotheria Metallica, Goody Sapphire. Ornamental. I think she's approaching a molt. I'm not sure. But that'd be really cool. And then I can actually sex this one. I believe this to be a male. Uh, this is why I'm calling it unsex. I used to think that this was a female, but uh, I think I'm having some second thoughts about that. This pile of five right here the, on my desk. I like this one here very much. Uh, Josie, three inch female Samopoist Armenia. Just look at the colors and you'll see why I like it. Really awesome. Now from this shelf. <laughs> yeah, so we're going to have more than one favorites here. Um, this one here is my favorite. Uh, Cantuscuria Brocklehursty, Giant White Banded. Very cool tea, very hungry eaters. And uh, just cool to look at. I will get a Jenna Colada in the uh, on Christmas, so hopefully I can determine if these species are actually alike. They are really alike. It's just that the Brocklehurst is slightly more rare and 
has more reddish hairs on the abdomen versus the geniculata. And this one I like the horn, my horn baboon, Sarah Jaris Marshali, because she's always out and that horde is really cool on this one. And this pile, uh, which one do I really like most? Holy crud. I like this one, Grandma Solo Rosea, red color form. He's fat. Uh, Lampropella Valisiopes, another favorite. She's going to get really huge when she grows up, having into 10 inch leg span. Uh, then this one here, another one of my favorites, um, Upalestris Wagenbergi, the white collared. Because it's possibly the most docile tarantula you can actually buy, next to a curly hair. Uh, very, very predictable in nature and uh, it's just a shame that uh, there's not enough of these in the hobby because they make great pets compared to your Grandma Sola Portery, the Chilean Rose. Uh, let's see what else I have. It's my favorite. Um, not much here. Here's my Renata, male, fortunately. Here's another favorite of mine, Blotheria Formosa, Salem Ornamental. Female. There are a couple of favorites in this one. My mature female Chromatopelma cyanobibescens. You could just tell by the colors. Really cool to own and webs like crazy. That's just awesome. And finally, Pocothera regalis, the Indian ornamental. And she's always reclusive. She's always hiding behind the bark. No surprise. And yeah, and also last one. Eupalestris campstratus, the pink super beauty. Once again, very Hannibal tarantula, very docile. Recommended for beginners highly over the rose hair, but it's just a shame that um, they're not really readily seen in the hobby. There you have it, so you can see that's possibly more than top 10 or top 12 of my favorites. The only ones I really don't like is uh, my OBT, just partly because I never actually seen her since I uh, made a video of me housing it and transferring it. That's the only time I saw it, ever saw her. I never actually see her. H. Lividum I really like, but I despise because it's um, it's a burrowing spy. Hardly come out during the daytime. You can see mine's not out. But I do see my Minex a lot, which is uh, pretty cool. So, hope you enjoyed the video. Peace.